We're active people. We're flag people, too. One year after the Indianapolis 500, we decided to ride our bicycles back to 225 miles to Chicago. We must have found over a thousand flagpoles and flags, half of them no longer even fly flags, and most of the others had broken down parts, makeshift parts, that eat up a new flag fast. That's when we became the Flag Runners. Hey, we were just having so much fun talking to Angelique from uh, the Super 8 Hotel over there. They had those three telescoping flagpoles. She didn't like them much. They've got some solar panel lights on the top. She says they don't really work anymore, but they make too much noise and they're just underbought and she kind of doesn't respect that. But over here at the Ramada, she also works over here and she says they're really sharp about their flags. When they've got Canadian people in, they fly the Canadian flag. They're Greek owners and so sometimes they fly the Greek flag, but they, they change that flag. They'll put the Ramada logo flag up and they do know how to use the flags over here. Over here at uh, Janelle's Cocktails, they'll also do that. They'll change these U.S. flags and they'll decorate something. And this gal was great. She also realized that Olympia Lanes flies the U.S. flag primarily for the veterans, but they'll use that third pole that you don't see a flag on for uh, tournaments because it's a major bowling alley here which is a big sport in this area so flag runners run into your flagpole some people inherently really know how to use a flag and give their people a flag to follow thanks for watching the flag runners brought to you by flagdesk.com